I was first exposed to porn when I was about 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. And I grew up in a fantastic home, both loving parents, um, very religious parents. Yeah. And I think they didn't quite understand how to have the conversation of sex. Totally. Yeah, it's hard, huh? It's hard. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's hard for yeah. So I don't I don't hold any blame or like yeah. anything against them. Totally. But as a child, you 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 have these questions, you're figuring your own body out, and yeah. so you're not getting the answers from your parents. So where do you turn? Turn to online. Yeah. And that's where I was exposed to it. And um it it became a plague on my life for yeah. a long, long time. I was more afraid of the wrath of my parents than I was about actually talking to them about the problem that I had. Interesting. Right? It was yeah. more, I was more ashamed of the issue that I had. And so totally. I kept it to myself my whole childhood. Yeah. As opposed to like actually coming out and talking about it. Yeah. There's that stigma, right? It is. Yeah. And it's cool. hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's and difficult. It's, it's difficult for a child too. Cause the child knows it is wrong. Uh huh. But yeah. how do I talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. They don't have the words to bring it up. They don't know yeah. where to get started or, or how to have that conversation. Yeah. yeah. So I hope that's one thing that like we in this generation can bring to our children yeah. is how can we have this conversation? How can we talk to our kids? And if they have a problem, how yeah. can we make sure they're in a safe, again, non-shame environment that we can ha- let them know that they're loved and they're comfortable and they're safe and totally. we can talk about it. So yeah, that was basically my whole childhood. Yeah. And I could tell that it affected my relationships. It affected my whole dating scene when I was, when I was a teenager. Really? Yeah. Um, How so? I objectified my dates. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was kind of a scumbag. Yeah. Um, and I, I truly believe it was due to the amount of porn that I was consuming on a totally. regular basis. Yeah. So instead of seeing dating as an opportunity to grow relationships and to experience love, dating for me as a teenager was how can I get in someone's pants, right? Uh-huh. How, how can I recreate these things I see on t- on the online? Totally. I knew it was a problem when I had a day where I didn't have to get anything done. I didn't have any, I didn't have any plans. I didn't have any, I wasn't hanging out with friends. Yeah. Literally from the time I woke up Saturday to the time that I went to bed, I just had my laptop open the whole day. Yeah. And that was when I got through an entire day and I was like, Oh my God, I wasted an entire, I could have been hanging out with friends. Yeah. I could have been out, like I could have been outside Yeah. and I wasn't. Yeah. 